Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of Luigi's Mansion. Uh, this is one of the last episodes, we're not that far away from the end now. Uh, in this episode we are going to be doing the artist studio and we're going to take out the last portrait ghost. In the last episode we got all of the booze on the basement floor. Um, but this room up here that we're going to deal with today is a little bit different from anything we've really seen um, up to this point in the mansion. It's very useful to have fire with you, um, although we've only got so much of it, so keep that in mind. Um, the art studio is this room here. Okay, so now we've got a bit of a gauntlet here. Um, you can pretty much guess what's going to happen. Yeah, it's just going to go through all of these. Oh. Come on, coins, 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 coins. No. Anyway, before I go um, back in there, the portrait ghost that you saw for a moment, his name is Vincent Van Gore, I believe. Um, y you know what that's a pun of. Um, but he basically is the one who's created all of the regular ghosts in the entire mansion. They are all ones that he has painted into existence. That's why they're so different from the portrait. Uh, the portrait ghosts. The portrait ghosts are the only ones that are actually undead, so to speak. Um, uh, we don't know about the booze as well, we, we don't know what they are. Uh, but all of these minor ghosts, they were all creations of Vincent van Gogh during his afterlife. Um, obviously this room is a gauntlet, uh, you're going to go through each of the paintings, it's going to spawn several of these ghosts at you and you've got to get them all before you can get to Vincent himself. So don't worry about um, the portrait ghost in this room until after you've... I mean, he's obviously in the room with you, just don't pay any attention to him because he's not important. Anyway, back in we go, and I'll skip the cutscene. Do the same thing as last time. This first round is extremely easy. Okay, these guys, in theory, you should be able to do the same thing. Although they're much harder to... to uh, talking is hard when you've got these things to deal with at the same time. I don't want to get hit because money. Okay. Um. Yeah. Gotcha. Okay, this is where I recommend bringing in the fire, because these guys are hard. Unless you can do that. No, my coins, my coins, my coins, my coins, my coins, my coins, my coins. I'm overzealous about coins. I clearly am. Okay, I'm starting to get a bit nervous now. Okay, 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 okay. Okay, that's one of them gone. Okay. Just try to keep calm. I 
I know there's coins at stake, but... Get him! Okay, I, I should have gotten that one. Okay. This should be easy now. These guys also you can use fire for because they are very dangerous as well. Okay, we're, we're doing okay so far. Come with it. Or at least try to keep calm. I'm really nervous, but only for the sake of my coins. It's silly. Okay, these guys are also a pain in the ass. That wasn't so bad. And this is a real problem because we've got three of these guys and they're all going to be dropping bananas. So you can kind of imagine the, the havoc that that causes. Um, be free to be liberal with whatever fire you've got left um, because the last round of ghosts are going to be uh, the ones that drop bombs, which is the only times we've seen them in an actual room except for the sealed room. But they're, they're really easy to take out. So. Once you've got to this stage, you should be pretty much safe, though. See, the problem that this can create is obviously they just. And you're just constantly sucking up bananas as well. Just do it gradually, just sort of... You know, there's no rush. Okay. You can just sort of slowly chip away bits of their HP at a time. Perfectly okay. Almost hit that banana. I think there is a limit to how many bananas... yeah, because they, um, they disappear eventually, so you can only have so many bananas in the room at one time. I'm a bit lost as to what to say about this, really. I've got to remember to have the torch off. Oh. oh, I'm out of fire, so it's vacuuming these guys for. And also, you got to get close to these guys. They're a bit like the skeletons in that um, they disappear quite quickly when you stun them. So you've got to get really, really close to them if you want to. I should have this guy. Yeah, okay. This is easy now. Unless I do something like that. My fingers are hurting because I'm gripping the controller so tightly. <laughs> there we go. And then these guys are not a problem at all. Already got two of them. And then we're done.
Does he not? Oh. Okay, so I have absolutely no idea how tough this guy is. Um, I don't remember this uh, fight particularly well at all. Um, I'm not concerned about gold ranking him, although... Shit. I was almost about to do it as well. I, I was really close to getting a gold rank on that boss fight, but towards the end there. Anyway, there's the key. Matt. <sighs> I'm actually quite disappointed that I didn't get... Obviously, you know where the key goes. Um, a gold rank, because I was so close to doing that. I didn't get the... No, still an 11 big pole, so I wouldn't have got the... I'm wondering... Yeah. I'm wondering whether I want to try that again or not. Probably not. And again... I was pretty close. Uh, ah, sorry, I'll just go to the save toad. Anyway, so that is everything for this episode of Luigi's Mansion. In the next episode, we are going to be going back up to Floor 3 or the Attic. Um, and we are going to be getting all of the booze up there. And that's actually going to be all the booze in the game. So uh, in the next episode, we complete all the booze. Uh, I'll see you then.